All right, we are on the last section for advanced formulas. So in this part, we are going to troubleshoot formula errors. So when you are writing formula, you will most likely guarantee it definitely will run into errors. So let's go through some of the most common errors like, like uh, described here. So missing or extra parentheses, see? Remember the example from the previous video on my end statement, my end statement? I was adding extra parentheses. This one is syntax error missing parentheses. My last video, I added too much or too many parentheses. So then you have to go through your logic slowly or begins and then start and close, right? And then comma means this whole thing or this whole thing, right? This whole thing or this whole thing. And then an extra closing parentheses. Now this is an extra one. You have only two, right? And then another one, field does not exist. You mistype a field and the field doesn't even exist in your object. That's also pretty common. Incorrect number of parameters, like case, you are expected to have this um, number of parameters, but you have too many. Expected 10, received 11 parameters. And then unknown function, there is no functions minimum. It's maybe a spelling error. It's supposed to be min. So all different kind of possibilities, right? Length limit, compile size limit, too big. This means the formula is too huge. Like if you put too big of a formula, it won't allow you as well. What else do we have here? Um, yeah, so there is all kinds of um, error possibilities, but the, the error is endless, but don't get confused or frustrated or discouraged when you got a bunch of errors in your formulas, you know? The best thing is to break it apart. For example, if you have a pretty long formula and you're a bit confused, you just break it apart, you know? You know, space it out a bit and then and then do your logic date. And then what is this start? Like for example, let me just give you an example. I'm gonna copy this guy and text edit here. And I'm gonna crank this up a new document here and view um, zoom, zoom, zoom. See if, for example, you, you, you run into an error and whoa, this is so, this is not even a big one. This is a small one, right? <laughs> so you wanna, you wanna make sure you crank it out like you have date there, right? Then, oh, this is the date part, okay? Okay, that's date, right? This is case, right? Case, right? And then month of this, comma, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, right? So you, you can figure it out by breaking it apart like that. So it will make um, debugging easier for you. All right. So let's go ahead and do the challenge together. So we have a bad formula here. They want us to fix this. So to do that, let's go ahead and launch our playground over here. Boom. And we're advanced. So brave wolf. We are now brave. Brave Wolf. Okay, nice. All right. So, troubleshoot a formula and fix a couple of errors. The following formula meant to return the last day of the current month. A good example of a very useful formula. The last day of the current month has a couple of errors in it. Okay, this is the whole thing. Create a new formula with the same label, name, and data type that successfully compiles, okay? So it should return a date of the on the case object. The formula should be named last day of month and the resulting API that, okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's do this, dude. Go to setup, boom object manager where do we go case remember 
case. Ah, this is fun, right? I'm having fun with this. Okay, now let's uh, new fields relationships new. And we want a date. It returns a date there. And boom, next. Last day of month, right? Today's January 2020. And we are going to try that out next. Make it all visible. And next, where, where are you? Case, right? Case. And whoa, what, what happened? Did we do a formula? Haha, <laughs> my bad. We didn't even do a formula. We do a date. We want a formula. And then it returns a date. Come on, Jimbo. Okay, um, now we want to return a date here, right? So a formula returning a date, not a date field. Okay, here we go. Now, we got an example here. Let's break this apart, all right? All right, let's check this out. A couple of errors in there. Let's see. Boom. If month of now, I know, now is a what? Now is a time date, date time. If month of today equals 12, date of the year of what? Of today, not now. This is a this is lame, too easy, trailhead. Come on, this is just a basically changing all the nouns to today. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Well, they don't want to discourage you guys and me. So not so hard on the trailhead. But on real life, usually you want to, you, you need to do some tricky formulas. And, uh, and I also mentioned it on the admin beginner course. You always want to Google it first. You always, always want to Google it first. Don't waste time trying to create something from scratch. A formula, especially if it's tricky. So for example, I want to figure this out. Wait. I can just Google it last, last day of month, Salesforce formula, boom, right? Somebody must have made this thing already. There, see, look at this, this is what I'm doing now. Look at this, so you just copy and paste that, right? So first rule, first rule, if you need to make a complicated formula, Google it first. And then research from there, you can usually modify some good formula that's available on the Trailblazer community or anywhere on Google and just modify it, right? So basically this is good. So let's check syntax, it's a bit different. Oops, wait. If month today equals 12, date year of today, date year of today, month today plus one, missing parenthesis, because this is an if, right? Right? Maybe we close it like that. Let's try. Right. Now we're good. Okay? So now we are actually going to test it. I'm going to test this out. Making a formula, you always have to test it. Does it um, execute like expected? So it's a case, right? It's a case and then what do we do again? Last day of the month? Formula of the date. Uh, can we test this guy? If month today equals 12. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can test this case. So how do you test it? You just make a case. Make a new case and it will say the day of the month there. So if I make a new case here. And I want to make a new one. Anything, blah, blah, blah. Case origin phone. And that's it, right? I'm just going to save this and then let's see the last day of the month here. Um, it should be here somewhere on the case, on the right here on the details. Let's see last day of the month. Where is it? Usually it takes a few seconds for it to come up. I'm pretty sure I added on the page layout, did I? Here, woohoo! Last day of the month, see? It's correct. Boom, 31st of course, right? Boom, last day of the month. 
so good to go. For that errors, take your time, break it apart, debug it, also um, Google it, Google your formulas, your complicated formulas, okay, and then uh, take the best one you can found and modify it according to your needs. That's it. We are done with advanced formulas and I'll see you on the next section. What do we do here? Um, what do we do next? Let's do the points first. Okay, I'll see you in the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. Woo! New badge, dude! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom